Hello, hello, and welcome back to Minotaur Hotel. Ah, uh, we're... Like, okay, so I do... I still want to get the gym up and running, right? But Asterion only has, like, two tech, right? Is that... He has one tech, fuck. Uh, and I only... I, I still need the raw material, right? Okay, and... He's only collected three raw materials so far, so we still need 12 more. So I'm thinking once we get that, we then hop him over to here, right? But he didn't get any raw material last time, and I'm like, fucking Luke, come on. We gotta, we gotta do things, and we're still gonna hang out with Kota, since he's apparently the only one with a, a thing. That's what it said at the beginning. I've been told there is a thing with Asterion, and I assume that's this, but, you know, we've started our social link. <laughs> now, once more, you head down to the lounge in search of Kota. The itch of curiosity uh, prickle at the back of your mind, and it's become uh, harder to resist scratching. Uh, judging by your last few conversations with the dra how with the dragon went, however, you will need to be uh, discreet with your inquiries. He seems to be more comfortable with talking about other people and places than about himself. Perhaps you could uh, learn a little more about the vagrant dragon that way. Fine. I mean, I wanted to do the direct approach, but then again, like I don't like when people ask me things directly, so mm, it is what it is. When you cast your uh, gaze towards the hearth, however, you find Kota's uh, customary um, armchair empty. Oh, new background. Or I guess, is this a, just an, another angle? Is this like... Oh, mm? Mm, okay. Uh, a little asking around leads you to a small room out of the way, and... Uh... <clears throat> Uh, what was probably the old staff break room. Oh, okay, so this is just a new area. Okay, okay, we got there. Hmm. Humming uh, like the um, pine cr cr cricket. Uh, coming back to the autumn he knew. Nakota! Oh! A little flustered, Kota puts his uh, phone down and looks up to you. He has a phone? Was that ever said before? Okay. Hello, Mr. Josh. Forgive me, I was distracted with the TikToks. You almost ask. Instead, you offer him a smile and a shake of your hand. Head. Yes. No, it's fine. I just wanted to hang out for a little while. If you're busy, I can come back some other time. Nonsense. Please, have a seat. As before, he gestured as before. As before, he gestured. As before, you accept. Okay. Okay. I thought I was going insane for a moment. You take the seat across the table from the dragon, uh, giving him a nod of gratitude. So, what will it be today? Mm -hmm. I apologize that we got cut off last time. If something, if you'd like, I can continue where we left off. Actually, I have something a little different in mind. We have a lot of different guests from a, a lot of different places coming in. And you've been all over the world, so I was hoping you might be, might have a little personal experience I could pick up, I could pick your brain on. Might help to, uh, might help them to feel welcome and make their stay that much more enjoyable. I see. And you do not wish to make them feel uncomfortable or cause offense by uh, turning your inquiry into an inter interrogation of them. Hmm. I almost, almost wince. The dragon's expression remains as placid as ever. Yeah. So, would you mind uh, helping a guy out? <laughs> but of course, I'm happy to help with anything you may need. Alright, in that case, I was hoping you could uh, tell me about... This is your chance. If you can get him to open up about his travels, he might reveal a little more about... about... Uh, more than he intends. You'll have to be careful, however, not to press him too hard. You rack your brain, thinking of all the guests who've, uh, who found shelter under the uh, hotel's roof, and open your mouth to speak. That's it? That's all I got? 
No, oh, you wish to know about, more about where our bird brain friend comes from. Well, yeah, I mean, you and him were the uh, first ones we welcomed to the hotel, after all. And beyond that, he's been an excellent help with running the lounge. Well, I suppose I can't argue with that. So, if there's anything in particular you you remember about, uh, you remember about going there, maybe we could, um, put something together for him, uh, show our appreciation. Uh, yes, I appreciate your, uh, intentions, but still think uh, it would be better to ask him directly. However, I have no problem assisting you. The thing is, well, Texas is quite a large place. As large or larger than many whole countries, Japan included. I likely cannot speak about the specific area where Luke hails from. How about, um, broader strokes, then? Why did you think of- what did you think of the area while you were passing through? Well, I was quite amazed, honestly. This is- this is a cute face. I'll- I'll give- I'll give Kota that. As I said, it is quite large, with many different countries, uh, uh, worth of geography all in one location. The snowy mountains, acrid val- uh, deserts, rolling plains- Does it have that? Maybe. When I went to Texas, it was so flat. It was so flat. And every time we boarded, like, a train to go somewhere, like, I would just comment on how flat it was, and my sister-in-law was just constantly like, Don't make fun of my hometown like this. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, and then she moved here, where I live, and it's like, now she's like, I see what you mean. Because <laughs> all we have is, like, mountains and hills and things here, like. Oh, and the rivers. Did you know in uh, quite a few areas that people spend all the hottest days of summer swimming in, uh, what was the word, uh, tubbing down the rivers? Is it tubing or tubbing? Why is this a question? I mean, like, I, I, mean, I get it. Yeah, I did know that. It sounds pretty fun to me. Just floating down the river, not a care in the world. Do you think Luke would appreciate us uh, setting up something like that for him? His brow furrows. Well, we would need a river first, and digging one ourselves was like well, would likely be out of the question for starters. Where would we get the water? Although, considering that this realm is entirely at your beck and call, that may not be such a difficult endeavor. A thoughtful hum vibrates in your throat. Uh, would you like a river here? Would you like a river here? Uh, you, s you really seem to uh, like them. Uh, a specific, uh, especially when uh, uh, they are being used by humans. Might make things a little better, um, that a little... Eh, might make things a little bit more like home for you. Well, I wouldn't, I won't dispute that. But here I thought we were trying to make Luke feel at home, not me. Um, uh, well, nothing says we can't kill two birds with one stone. We can keep brainstorming on it, how, uh, maybe. Uh, see what's, uh, feasible. Anyway, I guess you did a lot of, uh... Uh, tubing, huh? It was a very pleasant way to travel for me. Uh, much better than walking or heavens, uh, for... Uh, for fend? Uh, traveling by car. But it is, unfortunate, not possible to do, uh, for too long. Either the local government forbid it in certain areas, or the river isn't, uh, safe to travel, or pollution and runoff have... Uh, poison the waters. Forgive me for sounding like a crum curmudgeon, but it really was a lot simpler back in the day. I can imagine. And you're not really a car person, huh? Again, don't misunderstand. They are useful, like many modern advancements. And I won't deny, uh, they can be a, a convenience when one must travel long distances in a short time. But I'll take my uh, own two feet, or an inner tube, any day. 
In any case, I think we're um, wandering away from the topic at hand. Let's see what else. He hems, he haws. Uh, he runs his claws um, through his beard. At last, he shrugs. I'm afraid there's not much more, I could say. In truth, I was merely passing uh, through on my uh, way to an actual uh, lead in my search. Ah, uh, what was that lead? <laughs> An actual lead? What was that? Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. It was a uh, wash in the end. Although, now we're um, straying from the purpose of this ex exercise, don't you think? Right, sorry, just got curious. So, yes, that's pretty much all I can tell you about my time in Texas. Do excuse me if I uh, wasn't as informative as you were hoping. No, it's fine. Uh, sparked a, a at least a, a few, a couple of ideas for things to do for Luke. Maybe we could um, think something up for someone else. Perhaps. We will um, not know until we try. So then, what? Uh, forgive me. Where, where else? Um, else were you curious about? No, I can't think of anything. I'm, um, uh, you know, I'm a dummy. <laughs> and we don't have any other other people here. Uh, I assume we'll get other workers. Like, hotel staff, I guess. When do we get, when do we get a storm? You know. <laughs> uh, your lips press together, and your brow furrows. Nothing else comes, and... With a uh, suppressed sigh, you realize that nothing has been gained from this exercise. Well then, do you think this is enough? You force you you force the uh, corners of your mouth into a smile and give him a nod. Uh, yeah, I think so. Thank you, Coda. Despite your best attempts, it's difficult to fully uh, keep the uh, disappointment out of your voice. The dragon, however, seems not to uh, take any notice. He gives you a gracious nod of his own and then begins to shift in his seat, um, making, uh, making to get up. I am, as always, happy to help. Now then, I had a few matters to attend to before I'm um, returning to work, if you'll excuse me. Oh, of course. I guess I'll see you later then. With a uh, chuckle and a brief grunt, the uh, dragon holds himself to his feet. He takes a um, moment to smooth down his clothes and tuck his phone away. Afterwards, the edges of the table, around the edges of the table, he, um, his way to the door, uh, giving you a pat on the shoulder as he passes. You turn to watch him, uh, waiting until he has swept through the uh, doorway before allowing yourself, to, your expression to fall. That could have gone a lot better. Whoops. You can't be sure, but there were moments when you, uh, when you were speaking that Kota seems to catch on to what you were attempting. Trying to be clever with the, uh, dragon may be the wrong way to go about things. As you gather yourself, um, raising from, rising from your seat and stretching, uh, thoughts of uh, how to uh, proceed uh, uh, flitter through your mind. Would the direct approach be better after all? Uh, should you step back and let the dragon be for a while? At last, uh, you sigh. You decide on how to approach Kota later. For now, there's still work to do before the day is done. Uh... Made some progress. Yay! Three wrong attempts, so nine left. Nine left. Other than that, your exploration team did not make any big discoveries. Cool, cool. Ah, please don't fall, mouse. Well past midnight, a life rages on in the realm of the labyrinth. The dragon from the east pro <clears throat> uh, proceeded with his investigation, asking the guests about travelers such as himself. When the inevitable um, answer comes, however, uh, not a, a pang of sorrow touches his heart. Uh, had the uh, search itself become uh, pleasant enough after uh, many years? Oh, okay. And the, uh, griff and the American griffin, once so eager to partake in regretful escapades, couldn't resist the allure of the stars. One star at a time, he grasps the uh, colossal universe in the palm of his hand. That's cute. Meanwhile, the kobolds, um, given the um, 
give into the peace of the uh, mind-healing slumber of a uh, home found after who knows how long to the uh, bone-chilling underground. As for our good lords, um, pine... Pristang? Horned Asterion and Diamond uh, granted uh, Mr. Josh. Tonight they deliver themselves to smaller pleasures. Mm -hmm. A fine wine summoned and enjoyed. Uh, dedicate poems written and recited. And all of mankind's comforting inven inventions at their fingertips. And as the uh, pair watch a movie side by side on the leather sofa, those fingers do fidget. One's clumsy digits, um, tense arms, even their um, stirring legs. And doesn't a um, man's body, doesn't a man's body all feel inadequate in the presence of someone who um, awakens one's cold embers? Well into the night, by happenstance, your fingertips graze at each other, and. Uh, Hearts both skip a beat. But nothing is said. Silence and the uh, choice is, uh, the choice to believe it um, mere chance is uh, made sweeter from the uh, hummingbirds uh, flat fluttering uh, behind one's uh, head for a drink. Okay. Okay. Did I get any... I think that's a little further further along. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> another day, another break from work. Uh, another uh, jaunt downstairs in search of, the, of a certain dragon. Again, you find his usual spot by the hearth empty, and you poke your head into the employee break room. And again, you find Coda sitting by himself, but today his hands are folded on the table before him, and his uh, face is a uh, placidly smiling um, uh, mask. If you don't know any better, you'd say he was waiting for you. Good afternoon, Mr. Josh. I presume you wish to visit me uh, for a while again today. I was hoping to, yes. Well, here I am. Come, sit. You take his invitation, once again sitting across from the dragon. He remains as uh, still as a statue, no movement, not even the flicker of an eyebrow or the tapping of a uh, claw against his uh, the uh, tabletop. So then, what shall the topic be today, hmm? Is there anything in particular that is on your mind? There it is again, the slightest hint, knowing that you know what he knows. Even if it is imagined, it uh, prickles at you, at your mind, at your uh, conscience. Actually, there is one thing. I wanted to apologize to you. His expression doesn't change at all. No? For what? Well, since we started talking, I... Uh, may have been prying a little more into your business than I should have been. I wanted to know more about you, but it's possible I let my, cu my curiosity get the better of me, and I may have gotten carried away with trying to figure you out. It's quick, almost too much so, to be seen. But one corner of Coda's mouth uh, perks up for just a moment. His nostrils flare with a, uh, a puff of a breath. Then he glances away and lets out a... lets out a uh, chest-vibrating rumble. No, I suppose complaining would uh, make me a hypocrite, considering my prying into yours and Asterion's personal matters. Well, you... Well, um, two wrongs don't make a right, and it was still wrong of me. That, I will concede. Still, you forgave me for my trespass, and now I will forgive uh, you for yours. So, let us call it water under the bridge, alright? Alright. At long last, the two of you share a, um, a brief and easy smile across the table. Now then. Let us be frank with one another. You are curious about my past, and wish to know more about what led me, uh, led to my current uh, circumstance. Yes, and you wanted, and uh, you want to keep all of that private. Well, that's not entirely true. But I am old, Mr. Josh, and very tired. 
After all these years, it doesn't come easily to me to... Uh, the weeds grow so thick, you can't even see the path that leads to my, to my house. It happens while I waited uh, for someone who would um, I not come. How about this? I'm sure you've uh, been able to piece together a good amount from what I've told you, whether intentionally or otherwise. So it is time. Why don't you tell me a story? Tell me the narrative you've managed to construct, and I'll fill in what details you've missed. Um, please indulge me, if only for the time being. A tiny hint of desper uh, desperation slips into his voice. It sounds wrong coming from the uh, placid, well-mannered well dragon, and yet, it is all the most uh, earnest for it. All right. You close your eyes for a moment, uh, gathering your thoughts. Coda gives you all the time uh, he believes you may need. When you're ready, you look over to uh, meet the dragon's gaze and begin. <laughs> you um, started your travel when you left Japan around a century and a half ago. You traveled to America first, and I guess you proceeded from there. Coda doesn't speak up to correct you, and so you continue. And this time, you're, um, you've been searching for onsen. I presume something happened between the two of you, and he left Japan. He glanced away, but still doesn't interrupt you. Whatever the case, over the years you've been seeking out uh, leads that might help you find him. And to do that, you... Uh, sought the uh, most likely candidates who'd... Yeah, who'd uh, know about other dragons. For example, the clan of kobolds you helped out. The dragon nods and remains silent. So years and years pass, you travel all over the globe and finally end up here. You said it yourself. A place for wanderers to gather would be the best location to find what you're looking for. Who you're looking for? Uh... Were you really just brothers? Uh, Kota flinches, his eyes widen just a fraction. The clock on the wall ticks once, twice, thrice. What do you mean by that? He uh, yearns even more. Uh, pine crickets uh, sing of lost friends. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Tis no denial. Well, with the uh, way you talk about him, I don't mean to imply anything of, um, untowards. But, well, I can't help but feel like... Like? Well, what I can say is that uh, things between Onsen and I were, perhaps, a little complicated. More complicated than mortals, than human uh, humans may understand. There are many things about myself which I've uh, had to keep under wraps for a long, long while, I suppose. In addition to wandering, I've grown used to keeping up appearances, being, um, circum... wait, circumspect? Okay. Yes, that. Well, I'm uh, not going to say that you have to spill your guts out. It's your business, after all. If you want to talk about it, then I'm here for you. I'm, I'm sure Asterion, Luke, and everyone else would say the same. And if there's anything we or the hotel can do to help you find Onsen, all you need to do is ask, okay? He taps a claw on the table, humming as he uh, furrows his brow in thought. Mr. Josh, indulge my curiosity if you would. If I did say I did so happen to uh, nurture an affection for my for own son, what exactly would you uh, have to say about it? Fuck. <laughs> I don't like it, but it's none of my business. I'm not going to lie to you, Kota. 
I really don't like the thought, but then again, I guess it's none of my business. You said it's complicated, and I'll take your word on that. He nods, as though he expected such an answer. Very reasonable of you. I don't believe many would be as understanding as that. I suppose, then, it's a good thing we're only speaking in a hypothetical. A hypothetical. Yeah. There's still a lingering stiffness to his smile, a tension in his throat, an anxious energy in the tapping of his claws. Uh, you politely ignore it. I've swept in sorrow, longing for him to come back. But how can I live in this uh, world still now deceived by a vain, um, yeah, by a vain hopes of his return? You let your gaze wander away from the dragon, giving him space and a moment to collect himself. When he leans, when he uh, clears his throat again, uh, soft and polite to get your attention, you um, you turn back to see a different Kota before you, shamefaced and earnest. I will need to think over what we've discussed. Please forgive me, but it is a lot, and it is difficult both for me to get it all out uh, all together and to talk about. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Whatever, whenever you're ready, just let me know. I will. Thank you, Mr. Josh. After that, your conversation drifts off to a pleasant small talk, and then, um companionable silence. The time eventually comes to return to work, and you and Kota share a brief farewell. You can see all the thoughts in, um, in a, a tum... tumult... To tum... mute? tumult? Uh, behind his ear... eyes. Ugh. We... we will need time. Time to think. Time to ruminate. A time to, um, reminisce. And and to let centuries of reservation go. Okay. Luckily, here in the hotel, he has all the time he will ever need. Uh, okay. Six raw material, okay, cool. Okay, so we only need three more. And then we can put Luke back on the uh, tech team. That's uh, that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the part here. Okay, I'll see you around, everyone. <laughs>